Hey guys, uh, Mac with Canning Equipment here. We're going to go over the operation kind of setup of our 4520N Ventrac that we have here with us today. So general operator uh, setup here is parking brake. Uh, this is your control lever for locking down your front implements here. Um, your throttle and ignition is going to be on this side. Uh, most of your action is going to happen next to the SDLA levers, which is right next to the passenger side or the right hand side of the Ventrac is probably the best way to reference it. So. First thing that stands out uh, is probably going to be the 12 volt kit setup that is on our SDAL lever here. Both of these move in uh, unison when you're operating the machine for those of you that aren't familiar with it. This remote is basically used to control your front hydraulics, your auxiliary hydraulics as we call it. Um, these are going to be your three point controls. So this actually moves the three point up and down. Important to note for those of you who have never operated the three point on this, it is a gravity down system. So it may move a little bit slower if there's no weight on the back of it, just something to keep in mind. Both of these levers have similar functions. They operate any cylinders or implements that would be hooked up to the rear SCVs, or as you would say, more rear remotes that would be on the back that come with or are standard with on a three-point kit. Again, that kit can come from the factory or we can install it afterwards. Um, as we move into the controls here, we do have an optional horn equipped on this unit. We do have these strobes hooked up to our canopy. You have an option for a flasher kit, turn signal kit, have your PTO uh, clutch switch, which is standard, front work lights, and then we also have the additional rear work lights. Um, probably the most important thing to notice is that when your switch is pointed towards your diagram or your emblem, that is the off position. It's kind of just a nice little side note. And the last thing I'll point out here that some people kind of miss is if you've got a front or rear 12 volt kit, those switches will be located directly to the right hand side of you here. And right below that, if you reach down and flip this rubber flap, there's two USB ports there. It's probably the number one thing most people miss or don't see. So if you're charging a phone or just have something that needs to have a little battery power to it while you're out in the field, that's a great thing to have and often overlooked. So uh, let's not forget that while we're out there. Again, if you guys have any questions, please come see us at Canave Equipment. We got 15 locations, be happy to talk to you. And thanks for coming guys, talk to you later.